Can I stitch black and white film with Affinity Photo? My name is David Patton. When I started photography, I wanted to make art. I wanted to be a landscape photographer. But with a family to feed and bills to pay, I decided it would be better to be a working photographer than a starving artist. So I took a job as a photojournalist. 25 years and thousands of assignments later, it was time to go back to my first love. It was time to follow my passion. Come along on my journey to become the best black and white photographer I can be. Whether it be film or digital, I will be sharing what I learned through my successes and my failures in hopes to inspire and educate. This is my journey. This is right in the edge. Today I'm out trying to answer the question, can I stitch photos, specifically black and white film photos, in Affinity Photo? It's nothing I've ever done before, and it's something that I would like to know for the future. You might be asking yourself, why in the world would I want to stitch film images? Well, I have a couple reasons. First, there are a lot, a lot of times where I'm out shooting that I come across a scene that I, I think would make a good panorama. So it would be nice to know if I went ahead and shot one with my film camera. It'd be nice to know if they would actually turn out so I won't be wasting my film. Another reason is my widest lens is a 45 millimeter on my medium format camera, which is probably somewhere around the angle of view of like a 28 millimeter in the 35 millimeter equivalent, something like that. It's not real wide. And there are some scenes that I come across that would be nice to have just a little more angle of view, a little wider look. And at this time, I really can't afford to go out and buy another lens for my film photography kit. So I'd like to know if, if I need to, if I could stitch a couple images together to get that wider look. Maybe not necessarily for a panorama type look, but just to extend the frame a little bit, just increase the angle of view just a little bit. I might be asking a lot for Affinity Photo to stitch black and white film together. The only way to find out is to give it a try. I don't know if the grain's gonna affect it. I don't know if not having color information is going to make it difficult for the program. But if I, once I find out if I can do it or not, then I know if it's an option or not when I'm out taking pictures. Very straightforward, very simple. That's all this video is about. I shot these images on Delta 100 and the lens I used was a 45 millimeter because that's the, that's the lens I'm, I'm most curious about, if I can extend its range just a little bit. So I've got a, a few scenes. I've shot some horizontal and some vertical. And this is just one roll. Don't want to waste a lot of film on something that, you know, <laughs> might not work. So I'm gonna head, this, head back to the house and, and develop this film and show you what I got. Well, I got my results back. And I scanned the negatives. I scanned the negatives in a way that kept them pretty consistent. I set the crop marks and the, uh, the exposure for the first frame and then just used every frame after that, that that I scanned. I used the same settings just to kind of make it a little easier. And I'm happy to say that Affinity Photo came through with flying colors. Handled it just fine. It didn't, um, didn't have a problem with 
making out the uh, information blended the files really well. So now it's, it's nice to know that now when I go out, if I see a scene that I want to shoot as a panorama, instead of making the frame smaller by cropping, I can actually make the uh, film bigger by stitching a few frames together. Really just, you just put it together like you would a file shot from a digital camera. I was just worried that there wasn't going to be enough information with black and white film that the that the software might have have trouble stitching that together but really in the scenarios that I shot so far it hasn't been a problem so that, that makes me pretty happy I, I'm really glad that when I'm out if I see a panorama I can take it um, if I want to just extend my uh, wide angle lens a little bit more I can shoot an extra frame stitch it together with Affinity Photo and it, it works great well, I hope you got something out of this video. I know I did. <laughs> so until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride.